G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live at Townsville, North Queensland. That's where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. I'm doing a series on the management of the Hocking's Eye native bee in North Queensland. And here is an unusual behaviour not many people see. This is six o'clock in the morning on the 7th of March. Sun's not even up, that's why the picture's so dark. So what are you seeing here? This is the start of swarming behaviour. You've just got a mass of bees coming out of the hive. It's, as I said, the sun's not up, it's totally dark still, but they're out and going. Look at them, just going out by the ton. And, you know, I'll see if I can get that a bit closer and steadier. You can just see it. Now, it's either one or two things. It's either a colonizing swarm going out because they found a home and they're getting ready to attack first thing in the morning or what I possibly suspect it could be a mating swarm going out either way incredible just to see the sheer mass of bees going out we'll just let this run for a few minutes It's definitely swarming of some kind. By the sheer numbers, I'm even suspecting this is a colonizing swarm. It's just too many bees for a mating swarm. Just heaps of them. And now that the sun's got a bit more light, I'm trying to see where they're gathering. I can see them taking off and going off into the light, but they seem to be going up, 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 and away. I can't see any area where they're going. The only thing that tells me it's possibly a mating swarm and not a colonising swarm is I'm not seeing too many bees with pollen going out on their legs or beeswax on their legs. I'll have to look at this video later. I haven't got my glasses on so I can't have a close look. If you see this sort of activity and there's heaps of bees going out with pollen on their legs and wax on their legs, you know it's a colonizing swarm. So at the moment, looking at these bees going out, and it's just half the hive's decided to empty itself. I can't see any sign of a colonizing swarm. But I also can't find where they're, if it's a mating swarm, they should be just outside the hive somewhere all stirring up. Oh, by the way, this is this hive here, as you can see. That's my, one of my strong hives, so it's to be expected, I suppose. So there you go. Most interesting behaviour. Suddenly it's died down. As quick as it started, it's died down. So I suspect I have caught a mating swarm leaving to do its business. Amongst those would have been the dirty little queen having her sexual rompage. So that's it. Suddenly it's gone. Stopped dead in its tracks, as if it never happened. So I'm suspecting a mating swarm, hang around long enough, I'll probably catch them all coming home again. In part two of the mating swarm activity, as I told you in the part one, round the corner is a hive that just had all these bees leave on a mating swarm. How does it affect other hives? Well, this is a hive right next door, if I shine a torch, get it right, look at this, this is daybreak, and there are bees all out the front wanting to join the mating swarm. 
what happens at a mating swarm is the swarm attracts other bees. So what you're seeing here in a hive in total darkness, because it's only about six o'clock, is they're excited by the mating swarm of the hive round the corner. So you've got hives like these, really excited, drones being pushed out to join the mating swarm. And yet, a hive like this, just normal activity. So there you go. Goes to show you that that was a mating swarm we saw take off.